Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So you all, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about in-shower body lotions. Now, I was inspired to do this video by watching Takara, hey girl, hey, do her empties videos and she always has a ton of in shower lotions and i used to use them some years ago i wasn't really impressed but as i've changed everything in my shower and bath game i was like okay i want to try them again so i thought it would be fun to try quite a few of the ones that you can find in the stores now i didn't want to do one that you have to try to hunt down because that can be fun, but that can also be annoying that when you're watching someone and they're telling you about something that you can't find anywhere. So I wanted to review and compare the in-shower lotions that are in stock at your local Target, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS. You know, you can find these easily. So the first one I'm going to talk about, I haven't heard, I've seen like one or two people haul it, but not review it. And, and that is the Soap and Glory All the Right Smooths In Shower Moisturizer. And I have never seen this one. It was in Target. And look, y'all, they gave me like a busted top in my pickup order. And I was about to say, uh-uh. Now, I expect this from Walmart. I don't expect it from Target. But I could, I opened it. I could tell it hadn't been used. So I was like, okay, I'm going to let it go. Now, this one, oh, it's very citrusy, as you can see from all the grapefruit right here. This is a nice, refreshing in-shower lotion. So, I used it. And I could tell that my skin was soft. It did feel moisturized. Now, this is one I wouldn't say. This is one you rinse off. So, this is one that if you're like me, you don't immediately start your out of shower routine. This will make you, you won't have that dry, tight feeling sometimes you can get out of the shower. This is one that can hold you over until you want to lotion. So this is one I would use lotion afterwards, but I do really like the scent. And like I said, it helps me stay feeling moisturized until I lotion. So to me, it's a good one. Not great, but I do really, it, I do really like it. And let me tell you, for me... An in-shower lotion, it won't take the place for me of lotioning. I like my skin to feel super duper moisturized and soft. So a couple of these, I feel like you don't need a moisturizer if you choose not to. But I just don't feel right if I don't lotion after, after showering. That's just me. So that was the only one from Soap and Glory. I forgot to tell you that the soap and glory it is 8.4 fluid ounces so you don't get a ton of product in this one which is a drawback for me i felt like i didn't have to use a ton of this to feel moisturized though so that is a good thing next we're going to talk about nivea and i have two from nivea and we're going to talk about the cocoa butter first is for the dry to very dry skin this has a nice fresh cocoa butter scent i really do like the way this smells as you can see i have used quite a bit of this and the reason why is i feel like to feel like this has done anything for me i have to use a lot of it and still when i use a lot i don't feel overly moisturized i feel nicely moisturized but I would think dry to very dry, I would just feel like butter. And I didn't get that with this, which surprised me. I don't, I don't know. So this is one I like. It does help me feel 
if I was the type that wanted to use this only and not lotion afterward, it wouldn't work for me. Not the way that I want my skin to feel. So it is a nice one. I do like the scent, but it did not blow my mind. So the next one is the Almond Oil Very Dry Skin from Nivea. Now this one, I love this scent. I have the lotion with the almond oil. I just love it. It's a fresh, nutty scent, kind of creamy, really like it. So this used the same way after you shower, you put it on, you rub it in, and then you rinse it off. Now this one, I felt like moisturized better and I've and the reason why is because this is for very dry. So this is dry to very dry. And this is specifically for very dry skin. So out of the two, I, I prefer this one the most because I didn't feel like, I still felt like I had to use a bit much to get the level of moisturization I wanted. But it lingered more and I... My skin felt better with this one as opposed to the cocoa butter one. And I also wanted to mention the scent lingers more with this one after the shower. All three of these, both of the Nivea's, I felt like the scent lingered after the shower and with this one, I did also. So that's nice. I wanted it to linger because I like my stuff to mix and kind of mesh together with everything I'm using and just have this fabulous scent at the end when I'm done. So I did like that these lingered after the shower. So next, let's talk about Jergens. So it was three that I found in store and it was, it was a minute to try to collect all of these y'all because they were out of stock and I would have to hunt them down. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the Shea Butter. Now the difference between Jergens and Nivea, Jergens, you don't rinse off. After you shower, you use this, you either pat dry your skin or you let it air dry. You, there's no rinsing, which I do like. So this is a wet skin moisturizer as opposed to an in-shower moisturizer. So let's see how the Shea Butter smells. Yeah, it just has that nice warm Shea, Shea Butter scent. Um, it is nice. With these, I got the Shea Butter, Argan Oil, and the Coconut. So next we're going to smell the Argon. Yeah, this just has that basic Argon scent. If you smell Argon Oil, you know that that uh the fragrance of it and then the coconut and this is a nice coconut this is a warm coconut scent so i figured like i said i thought these were all going to perform the same but i felt like the one that moisturized and left me my skin feeling the best was the coconut first then the shea butter, and lastly, the argon oil. So they all left my skin feeling wonderful, don't get me wrong, but I just felt like the coconut one was the best out of this range. And I want to say, of course, since you don't rinse this off, you do smell the um, fragrance after you get out. And I still did use a lotion after using these wet skin moisturizers from Jorgens, but I must say, I didn't feel like I had to. Like with the Soap and Glory, the Nivea, I felt like I need to lotion. Even though my skin felt good, I just, I just felt like I still needed some, you know, some lotion. I didn't feel like I needed to put lotion on with the Jergens. So that is a major plus for them. And also with the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizers, you get 10 fluid ounces. So it's like in between the Nivea and the Soap and Glory. Now with this, you I did not have to use a ton. So that's a plus with these. I use, you know, just, you know, squirt out like um 
quarter size is basically what I would use with any of these and then more with the ones I felt like I needed more to get that the level of moisturization I wanted but with the Jergens, it's about a quarter size worked wonderfully so even though you get you know you get 10 fluid ounces which to me is a decent amount you don't have to use a ton to get those great benefits so next I'm going to talk about the one I was the most excited about interested in and that is the Olay body conditioners so I have the vitamin E which is the pink and gold I have the retinol which is the purple and gold and uh, the shea butter which is kind of like a peachy yellow and gold and lastly the coconut oil which is like a brown and gold at the top so y'all these have been getting a lot of hype and I was just super excited to try them. So let me first start off. I think the first one I was able to find was the Shea Butter. So this one, this has a fresh shampooy scent to it. Now these have eight fluid ounces. The I had to use quite a bit to really feel like I was moisturized but after using a bit you know my skin felt great smell great also I did feel like I needed lotion after using the shea butter I like the scent of it I like the feel of it but you did I had to use a lot to feel to have my skin feel the way I want it to feel the next one I was able to pick up was the retinol and this is one it has a very strong floral fragrance I mean really strong nice but it's very strong now this one I kind of use the same amount as I did with the shea butter y'all my skin felt so good and I did not feel like I needed lotion after using the retinol one my skin was so fragrant too. This lasted, they all last, you know, a bit, a little bit on your skin. But this one, it was like I was getting whiffs of it mixed with, you know, everything else I use all during the day. This one is strong and good. Now, like I said, I'd use a lot of these because I use a lot of product because I like my skin to feel a certain way. And this is only eight fluid ounces. I believe out of all the ones I collected, these have the least amount of product. And I do feel like you need to use a good amount to feel a difference in your skin. But this one is strong, it's good, It's the fragrance is strong, my skin felt great, and I didn't feel like I had to put on lotion after using it. Okay, I think the next one I found was the coconut oil and this is the one I really 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 wanted because it has the shimmers and this is a nice warm coconut scent and y'all this one also this has a nice scent it lingers I use the same amount like a good glob I'm not wasting this product but a good glob um for all you know each section of my body I love this one. I also didn't feel like after using this one, I had to use a moisturizer, but the shimmer. I love this for spring, summer, because it's micro. It's not like big chunks of glitter. And it just, you know, as you move, you just get a little hint of it. Love this. I love this one. Oh, it's so good. And the last one I was able to pick up, and I think this, I have all of them in the range that, that I know of. This is the vitamin E. And this is the one that reminds me of an herbal essence shampoo. It smells really good, really fruity, girly, very nice. Now this is one, like I said, I use a lot of product with all of the Olay body conditioners. I felt like this one, was kind of on the same level as the shea butter. It moisturized my skin nicely, the scent lingered nicely, but I felt like I needed to, to use 
uh, lotion afterwards. As opposed to the retinol and the coconut oil, I didn't feel like I had to use lotion. Even though I did, I didn't feel like I had to with the vitamin E and shea butter, even though they moisturize well. Even if I was someone who if I was someone who didn't want to lotion with this, I would still feel like I would need to because I felt like I was moisturized, but I don't want to be feeling dry during the day. I want to stay moisturized all day long. I don't want to have to worry about it. And I felt like I would need, I would worry about it if I didn't lotion with the vitamin E and the shea butter from the Olay body conditioners line. So y'all, lastly, I haven't seen anybody talk about these. I hadn't heard about them, but I was like, I'm going to give them a try. It, it'll be fun. And this is the Curel Wet Skin Moisturizer, and this is the Itch Defense. So this is for, you know, if you have itchy, eczema-prone skin, this would be a nice one for you. And this is a very basic lotion smell. Think of your basic drugstore lotion smell with no fragrance added. That's what this smells like. So it's nice to me, like a nice fresh lotion smell. Now this is one that's like the Jergens where you don't wash it off. So it felt wonderful, you all. It felt silky smooth on my skin. I didn't use a ton of product either, but it did feel really good. But I must say, I felt like this Curel left a little film on my skin, like a little stickiness afterwards. But you know, I use lotion anyway, so that went away, but I did feel like just a hint, not too much to make me go, oh, I don't like it at all, but some people that might annoy you, so I just wanted to let you know, but this is a great um, wet skin moisturizer too. And I sometimes do get itchy skin, so I use this when I was feeling like, you know, and I felt like it did help. My skin felt really good, really moisturized, except, you know, a little film on there. But I do like this. This one, I believe, all of these cost about the same price. The Curel, I think, was the most expensive out of the line. I want to say that this was about $10 for this one, I want to say. So this one is the most expensive, but I do believe if you have dry, itchy skin, eczema prone skin, I do think this would help you and kind of um, help the itching a little bit. So I think it's a nice product. So the, and this one has 12 fluid ounces. So the one with the most product is Nivea. Nivea, you get the most bang for your buck, but on certain ones, you know, you have to use a lot of product to to for me to feel the moisturization I like. Okay, this last one is the Curel um, Hydrotherapy Wet Skin Moisturizer. And this is just your basic one. It's not one that's uh, geared toward eczema or anything. And this one to me has the lightest scent, but also just a light, clean, your basic lotion smell. This one felt nice on my skin also. I did feel like with the Curel, I got with this one just that little film, that just a little, that little film feel on my skin. But I did really like them. My skin really felt really soft, really silky after using these from Corel. So I do think they're really good products. So those are all of the in-shower wet skin moisturizers that are in stock at your stores now. I'm going to give you my top three. And so number one is going to have to be Jergens because if I ever felt like I did not want to lotion, I would use one of these because they do have more fragrance than the Curel. So number one, and I'm going to say is the coconut oil from Jergens. Out of the wet skin moisturizers, I'm going to say that Jergens beat Curel. And that's how I'm going to do it. So um, let's just pick one for in shower lotion. And y'all, you know, I'm, go I'm going with Olay. 
I love this. And I'm going with the coconut one too because of the shimmer. I love the shimmer. I love it, love it, love it. And it makes my skin feel great. So all of these, I would say, are good. The ones that I feel didn't perform as well, I would have to say would be the Nivea and Soap and Glory. I felt like they didn't perform the best. All of these would beat out Nivea and the Soap and Glory one. Do I enjoy the Nivea and Soap and Glory? Yes, I do. But the Jergens, Olay, and the Curel, you know, they, they perform better for me and my skin and in my opinion than the Nivea. Would I repurchase any, would, which ones would I repurchase? I would repurchase probably all of the Jergens, just depending on what scent I was feeling like at the time. All of the Olay, I would repurchase. The Curel, I wouldn't purchase both at the same time because I would just see what my skin was feeling like because it really doesn't have that special of a scent to where I would feel like, oh, I need this one or that one. Nivea, I would repurchase this one. I don't know if I would repurchase the cocoa butter unless I really wanted a cocoa butter scent. And the Soap and Glory, I think I would repurchase because I like the citrus aspect for summer. So basically all of these I would repurchase. All right, y'all, so I hope you enjoyed this video. This is something new and different for me, but I'm really liking trying that's how i've always been i like to try the entire line of something if i you know if i find out that i like it and i thought it would be helpful to just give you a review if you're thinking about any of these products so if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment below telling me if you've tried any of these um in shower wet skin moisturizers and what you think of them please share this video with everyone who loves skin that feels and smells wonderful and please turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified each and every single time I upload a video. And like I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.